Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, welcome to this short presentation for the Netcall Omnibus Problem Resolution Trigger inside the Generic Clear Trigger. The presentation will cover the generic clear fields and their usage inside the probe's rules file, object server event handling, the generic clear trigger, other types of event clearing. The generic underscore clear trigger finds all the problem events with a matching resolution event using the object server fields node, manager, alert group, alert key. Generic clear events must have a severity other than clear. Typically, the generic clear fields are used in the events identifier. The main generic clear fields are defined as node, typically the server's name, manager, typically the probe's name, alert group, typically the event source or group name, alert key, typically an alarm identification value or string, type, which is set to 1 for a problem and 2 for a resolution. The other fields are severity, which is greater than 0 and typically set to 1 for a resolution event and greater than 2 for problem events, last occurrence, which is a Unix timestamp in seconds. To enable generic clearing for an event type in the probe's rules file, the at identifier must be unique for problem and resolution events. This is done by adding the at type value to the at identifier. This means at identifier is typically defined after all the event processing is completed, given the events other fields are typically defined based on the event's tokens. The object server uses three main triggers to handle generic clear events. The deduplication trigger discards incoming events with lower last occurrence values than the current event held in the object server. The expire trigger clears events whose expire time is reached based on the event's last occurrence and its expire time. The delete underscore clears trigger deletes cleared events based on their state change value. The generic clear trigger runs every 5 seconds by default, in which time it matches all the resolution events with their corresponding problem events based on their generic clear fields. It checks to see if any of the resolution events clear any of the problem events. It clears all the resolution events and it clears any matching problem events. It performs these tasks using a temporary table called alert.problem underscore events. The trigger first selects all the problem events that have the matching resolution event and inserts these problem events into the alert.problem underscore events table. Each resolution event is cleared and used to set the resolved field to true in the alert.problem underscore events table based on last occurrence and the generic clear fields. The resolved field in the alert.problem underscore events table is then used to clear the problem event in alerts.status. Once completed, the alert.problem underscore events table is cleared. There are a few known issues with the generic clear trigger. Problem events must arrive before the resolution event. Resolution events must have a last occurrence greater than the problem event. Problem and resolution events should not be allowed to persist in the object server. Because resolution events are automatically cleared, the problem event must arrive before the resolution event. The resolution event must be newer than the problem event by one second for the event to be generic cleared. Problem events must have a corresponding resolution event and be timely expired to reduce the load on the generic clear trigger. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.